Hey everyone, it's Adam here. How about those flip-flops? <laughs> um, this is a brand new Nav 6 from uh, Garmin. Well, it's BMW branded, but it is brand new. And the reason why I have this, this is actually my third one of these. Um, and the reason for that is the screen. So uh, when BMW went from the Nav 5 to the Nav 6, uh, the Nav 6 most notably had the edge-to-edge uh, -edge screen that was glossy, which is still just plastic. Uh, works with your gloves, of course, like the NAV5 did. And it also had a couple of additional software features, but nothing nothing life-changing. If you if you were to take a NAV5 and put a brand new edge-to-edge uh, -edge screen on it with the bezels, it would, you know, people most people wouldn't realize the difference between the NAV5 and the NAV6. So if you see a NAV5 on eBay for 300 bucks, and you're about to go buy a NAV6 for $1,000, Grab the Nav 5. Um, now, one thing that Garmin uh, really screwed up on is they, for a lot of the customers, and you're probably experiencing this as well, uh, your screen has started to do like weird zombie stuff. What I mean by that is you're driving along uh, and the Nav will just start scrolling, like your finger is scrolling on the map. It'll just start scrolling, it'll keep scrolling and scrolling and scrolling. It might even freeze up. It might uh, lock up during navigation. You might go to click one button and one down here gets clicked instead. And no amount of cleaning it, uh, no amount of uh, restoring the software to default settings will fix your problem. It is truly a hardware issue. And so one year after I got my NAV6 in 2018, um, I had to send it back to uh, Garmin for a full replacement. And then now it's been a full year later, and this is this is my, my third NAV6 because this just came in the mail, and it is a full replacement once again, third NAV6 in um, three years. Well, basically every 12 months it fails. And so um, before I unbox this, I'm actually just gonna go ahead and go with the Speedo Angels um, screen protector. I have this on my TFT screen on my GS and Heather's TFT screen on her GS, and we're really happy with it. So um, I just stuck with the same brand. This comes from the UK, uh, unfortunately, but it is on Amazon, it took about 10 days to arrive. And even though I've had this for about two weeks now, I decided to wait to peel this off until after I've installed the screen protector. I'm not making any personal guarantees that the screen protector is going to make this Garmin last longer than it has in the past. No guarantees at all. But if it does work, great. If it doesn't, well, this wasn't that expensive. This comes with two of them. So um, yeah, pretty simple. So um, this... I, it's a how-to video for installing a screen protector, but it's also kind of a plea to Garmin to guys, you know, release the Nav 7 um, if you have one in the pipeline with the sole purpose of just being that the screens are fixed. Uh, that's it, just fix the screens. Make them where they don't fail anymore. Um, we don't want the thing bigger. We don't want it to be faster, which would be nice. Uh, we just want the screen to stop failing um, on us. That's it. So, um, I'm actually going to ignore all this stuff for this because this still has the paper on it from the uh, from the box. Actually, okay with that. Let that sit there for a second, and then we'll get out our squeegee. You can spray some water on this to help the process, but um, I'm not going to be doing that for this video. Perfect. Uh, I've got a couple of hairs in there, but it's no big deal. Um, it's going to be filthy constantly anyway. I, I'm not really one of this huge proponent of like screen protectors in general. Uh, on, a, on a GPS device. Uh, I work at TomTom Tom, <laughs> and I've never had to do this before to a GPS device. They just work for years, but um, all I want is for the zombie kind of feedback, uh, things to go away. And so I'm hoping this fixes the problem. I'm gonna go drop this into the, um, the R1200 GS right now. And um, it's already been restored to all of my POIs and all of my data. So I'm just gonna drop it in there and hook it up to the bike. Thanks for watching. Good luck to you guys. I hope Garmin fixes, pro fixes this problem soon. But for now, there's a screen protector and I hope that that actually works. All right, ride safe.